Well, hello there, everybody. What is going on? Well, hello, beautiful boys and girls. What's going on? Freaks are here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are back playing some Titanfall 2. But one thing that I do want to talk about, for sure, one thing that I just, like, it just needs to be said, you know, is... Okay, hold up. Why? Okay, what's up with my sleeves right now? I have one down. Okay, hold up. But my theory kind of is right now is that, like, I feel like these people are going for the COD killer this year. Just in my opinion, I feel this game is a lot better than Infinite Warfare. Like, from what I've played, I played a bit of the beta from Infinite Warfare. Obviously, I haven't played the full game, but, like, this is a lot more enjoyable than Infinite Warfare, honestly. I mean, IW isn't bad either. Like, it's not the worst. It could have been a lot worse than, you know, from what we were expecting. And then COD 4 Remastered is just gonna be, it's gonna be COD 4, basically. Which I'm pretty excited for, I gotta, I ain't gonna lie, I, I might have missed out on that COD. Like, do I think Infinite Warfare is gonna survive the year? Yeah. If Infinity War doesn't fuck around and make the game obnoxious like Black Ops, personally, I think the game will survive if they don't pull any of the stupid obnoxious bullshit that Treyarch did with Black Ops 3, because in the long run, really, that's what ruined Black Ops 3, was all the just weird shit. And you know, maybe the weird shit has a meaning behind it, kind of like the Gingerbread Man. The Gingerbread Man costume was such a big, like, joke in Black Ops 3, but then, you know, the actual story behind it is it was about some kid that wanted to make, you know, he wanted to have an option in Call of Duty, that was his dying wish, and you know, that's that's what happened. But you know, Treyarch never... They never even really thought to mention that, like, as explanation with the gingerbread man. So here everyone is, making fun of some little kid's dying wish. So, like, maybe all the other things had some sort of, like, meaning to them, kind of hidden inside them, like the gingerbread man. But I, I don't know, I just really hope they don't do stupid shit with Infinite Warfare, because that's that'll be what'll ruin the game, honestly. Or I hope Infinity Ward doesn't just, like, put on Snoop Dogg packs and shit like that. I mean, like, that wasn't that bad because Snoop Dogg is fucking awesome. That one is, like, I, I'm totally okay with, but I mean, like, don't, don't do any dumb shit. Don't put a dildo gun in the game don't put a fucking don't put in a nail gun it's just that shit just doesn't make any sense but the reason i haven't really been posting like videos as consistently and stuff like that even though i say i'm gonna be trying to go on schedule and i'm gonna try and post as much as i can and stuff like that even though i'm gone for like four or five days like i just don't want to post bad videos i don't want to post you know forced entertainment and it's just it's it's just not right that way if i want to make a video i want to make a video today i felt like making a video so what did i do i made a fucking video i'd just rather be in the mood to make a video than you know just post things just to be like high because i have done that for a short period of time once on my channel it was probably when i had like 150 or less subscribers like things just weren't really going too well with my channel and you can tell like all of my content was so forced it was just so just awkward but i also want to know what you guys think on the whole you know infinite warfare situation what game are you going to be playing are you going to be playing some titanfall 2 are you going to play infinite warfare cod 4 battlefield 1 like legit Honestly, everyone needs to just realize that, holy shit, we have some good fucking games this year. At least we're not going through another year with, like, awful games. Like, that, we went through a couple years where the games just weren't really the best. Like, in the Watch Dogs times. Like, there was Watch Dogs and there was a whole bunch of other releases that just weren't really on par. But, nope, I'm here. I'm always at Twitch, by the way. I'm gonna still always be posting videos. Still haven't quit. Still going strong. I fucking love doing this. This is my passion. But what kind of content do you guys want to see, like, coming from me? Because, uh, honestly, I, I would like to know. Like, any upcoming games, series, anything. Like, straight up. And what games do you want to see this year? Like, with Infinite Warfare coming out, Modern Warfare Remastered, and then, like, Titanfall, Battlefield 1. There's so many good games to play right now. I, I don't know what the fuck to put on my channel. So, I mean, I'm probably gonna start making more videos and posting them just to, you know, just for shits and gigs. Because that's kind of where, like, I, I told myself that I'll make a video when I feel like making a video. Like, when I want to make a video at heart. And today, that's exactly what happened. You know, I felt like making a video, and here I am making a video. And now here I am asking you guys, what do you want to see? Yeah. That probably looked and sounded retarded. Honestly, I fucking hate myself. But yeah, comment down below if you have any suggestions on what I should do on my channel. Also, remember to subscribe if you are new. Like this video. It really shows me some support. really helps me out. really gets that motivation going. And, uh, well... Yeah. Honestly, like, I don't even think there's a true point to the like thing. It's just, it's just kind of like feedback. It's just something that kind of makes you feel good. You know, somebody, you know, they clicked like. They enjoyed it. Okay, I think that's enough Titanfall for me today. And as usual, I hope you guys have the power to stay positive, and peace out.